So let's go through this. Let's let's go through this order here. So that we can, can I ask one question. Yes. I I, don't, I, there's, I I didn't see any uh, uh, photographs uh, of, of the wound itself. Yeah, there, you, there you have one. I mean, they're not color. Um, you have the color ones too. Can we pass the color ones? Yeah. Over? Yes, please. Yeah, I've solved the one. Okay. So. I have a question while we're passing stuff around. I see your dog is eight years old. Have you had him examined by a vet? since this happened to determine whether or not he's got some physical issues that may have changed his behavior? <coughs> it's been here, I think, the whole time. He's been since. here. Oh, okay. He, and, and that's why I am I would rather not him be here for another four or five weeks. Right, okay. he's, he's been. Why has he been here for this long? Um, there was a 10 day, I guess, because it had to wait for the appeal. But still, I mean, it's been about a month now. It's been a month, yeah. right? So any time, you know, any time after that ten days, you could have just bought a crate and stuck them in any room in the house. I have a crate. I have a okay. okay. So you could have you could have redeemed them, you know. Well, you, you're you're going in a crate. You mean the kennel? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, county outside kennel. Well, I well, I outside. I dealing with the nature way. There's no way I can have a run on the outside. Of well, does he? But does he have to have a, a kennel on the outside? Can't he just? Take the dog outside for walks and keep it inside. For the order, do you have to have the fence yard or the cattle for the outside? Okay. And unless the commission decides to change that. So let me, uh, let, let's look at number two, Mr. Uh, your last name is Nowakowski, right? Yeah. I mean, there's been no, there's been no testimony that the dogs present any problems to people that are not um, family members, is there? So, no, know. I've had workmen come in. I've had, um, you know, salesmen come in. There's never been an issue with anybody. I mean, the, the challenge is here in this case, you know. We have someone that, you know, it's a truly unprovoked attack. I mean, okay, in the first one that you described, there may be a little bit of, there may be a little bit of excitement there at the door, et cetera, et cetera, that causes the dog to be coming Or protection. Here, here is a case, a classic case of an unprovoked attack by a dog. Mm -hmm. And, and um, it's a big dog. It's not a small dog. Mm -hmm. you know, um, and, and, now, the commission and the animal control do have an obligation to try to create the safest environment for the community while we have animals and live with animals. And I mean, we're 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 going to be faced with a situation here: is do we hold uphold this order, or do we modify the order, or dismiss the order? And I want to give you the opportunity to go through this order with us. Mm -hmm. and go through one through whatever and try to determine what you can live with, what you can't live with, and I think we can come back with some sort of agreement. Um, order number one says Henry must be confined in a secure building or enclosure in the property 256 Shelley, uh, West Millersville, Maryland. And, um, it's pretty basic. Basically, he's going to be in the house unless he goes out. I mean, uh, Henry must be confined in a crate inside a key lock room inside the residence whenever non-family members or juveniles are home to prevent visitors from accidentally releasing the dog to the public. Well, you know, the dog didn't get released in this particular case. It was the dog was outside. In the other case, the dog kind of ran out the door. Right. And this is why we have number two in our orders to prevent dogs from running outside to attack people when the doors mm -hmm. open or to prevent a dog from attacking someone that knocks on the door. Right. In the, in the case, uh, or subsequently since that incident in 2011, the door is shut every time somebody comes to the, I don't leave. You know, I make sure it gets shut before I turn my back on them. Um, you know, you say you have an HOA issue there. How, I mean, is the, is the HOA going to allow you to build a fence? Yes, that's, that's not a, I've already, I've already had approval. 
and I had been planning to do this two years ago. So you're going to build a stockade type fence there, six, six feet? feet tall, with a locking mechanism on the gate. Mr. Haber, is there anything uh, additional that we haven't discussed that you would like to tell us? I mean, we like your input on in this. Thing. No, I mean I don't, I don't, I don't dislike them because I don't really, I don't know them. I was, I was angry. One, my leg, and two, because of my pain. Um, but, uh, <laughs> I, just I, 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 I know the pain. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but um, I mean, it's clear, clearly it was an accident. It was an accident. I do understand accidents happen. It's not, I mean, it's part of life. You don't, you know, I don't hate him for it. Um, I just only think that, I mean, if he can't control it, he shouldn't have it. But that's just my personal opinion. If, if he can do something to where, you know, this doesn't happen again, nobody can guarantee accidents don't, but if he can do something, you know, further to prevent it, I'm fine. I don't, I don't. Reasonable. Yeah, it doesn't, it, it's not going to make me angry or anything. No, not at all. So there's no indication that there's been a problem when he's been on a leash, is there, to where he maybe need to be muzzled or not? Because often, no. we, you know, anim animal owners have to muzzle their dogs even when they're on a leash to prevent these type of incidents. Right. I just never had any incident where he's gone after somebody when he's been on a leash. Anything else um, that you would like to tell us, Mr. Haywood? No. I mean, feel free. Okay. All right. Um, I mean, I know everyone here is going to tell us that the dog is very nice, and I know that's, you know, that's, yes, ma'am. Yeah, because my great grandbaby's getting really restless. I need to feed her. But can I just say something? Yes, ma'am. Is it okay? Sure. These are my three granddaughters mm -hmm. who live with me, okay, mm -hmm. permanently. And, and um, uh, this, this is my next door neighbors. We are mm -hmm. all neighbors, okay? And they interact with him. They play with him. They and he's never been aggressive. He is a big dog, but I can say Steve can have him on the leash, and they can Henry run up to him, and and he commands him to speak. He commands him down. He listens. He's never been aggressive to my dogs. The aggressive dog is my little four, five point four five pound Chihuahua. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would agree. And, 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 and I, I, I adopted a dog from here. That's a, a Bichon Poodle. It's twenty five pounds. He interacts with these dogs, and he's no threat to them. And I just wanted to interact that because when my neighbor told me this, my next two next door neighbors, Marty and May, told me this was going on. And I'm like Henry. I was just shocked, and I said, I, I, I'm going for Henry's defense. I'm going to bring my granddaughters because they play with him. They they have approached him right open. I have. I'm, I'm in my van. I see him walking his dog all the time, and I stop. Hi, Henry. I speak to him. He tells Henry to speak, and Henry walks back at me. He speaks when he's commanded, but he I've never seen him aggressive. Girls? Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. Unanimous? Okay. They can speak themselves. Okay. Do, do any of you want to just t say I something? Say or, yeah. Okay. Henry, yeah, Tanya is one of my good friend dogs, and we do interact, all three of us, and Henry is a very good dog. And I would never think that he was get aggressive with that. So. Thank you very much. It took, took a little courage, but you did good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Shall we? Is there any? I, oh, oh, I'm sorry. I, no, I'm I have sorry. one last thing. Um, okay, sure. Just, uh, I, I understand, uh, Mr. Haywood, you may have just said it slightly different. I just want to address, he had said um, it's fine for everything to be as it is if uh, Mr. Nowakowski can control him. Just um, knowing Mr. Steve for a very long time, he's very good at uh, training dogs. Um, he's a very good. Uh, he's very good at controlling them, and I and I know he said accidents can happen, and I think this is exactly what it is. I'm not denying that Henry bit him. I'm just trying to express that this was an accident, and it shouldn't be coupled with uh, Mr. Steve's um, 
cap capability of controlling them because he's very good at, uh, at that. Anything, Mr. No, I mean, Hayward, you would like he, to add? I don't, because I don't, like I said before, I don't really know him because I don't, I'm not his neighbor. I don't, I'm not familiar with the dog like the kids. I'm a stranger. I'm a stranger to the guy's dog in the next court. So, to me, no, he's not friendly. He bit me. So, I don't think of him as, as you know, this friendly, obeying dog with, you know, this good, you know, trainer as owner as a trainer or trainer as an owner. I'm the stranger. I don't mind if he keeps the dog. It's not going to bother me. I'm not going to stop taking walks in my neighborhood. I have a different perspective from everybody who's, who's here because we're not neighbors. We're neighbors as far as community, but I don't live a couple doors down from there. I was just strolling through the neighborhood. I don't want anything bad to happen to the dog. Not a dog lover, but not a dog hater. Can I actually just add something? Yes, ma'am. So I'm a neighbor, but not from that neighborhood. Mm -hmm. I'm across mm -hmm. uh, Old Mill in a different neighborhood, but I walk my dog every day. Um, my last dog uh, was blind. Uh, he ended up in a set of wheels. He became handicapped. But Henry and him could interact and play, and we never had any issues. So I trusted my blind, disabled dog with that dog. And Henry has never, ever shown any aggression in my presence. So it is very out of character. So I'm not speaking as Steve's neighbor and his best bud. Um, I'm from <coughs> across the street. I'm just another dog walker who mm -hmm. happens to know Steve from walking dogs. I mean, we're here on an order that's called potentially dangerous. Yeah. And, you know, we're not here on a dangerous order like y'all listened to earlier. Right. Where it's a different, you know, potentially and dangerous are two different terms. No one wants to have an animal that's labeled anything. Okay. But the reality of it is we're here because something has happened, not just once but twice. And, and you know. It is out of character is all I'm saying. Yeah, I understand. And first time I be honest with you I think it was due to protection on oh, the first incident where where I had my back turned because we've had a couple incidences in the neighborhood not in our neighborhood but right. as I've walked through um, the park and it could be a right. situation where the, where the uh, your dog is very familiar with everyone and comfortable with everyone right. sitting here and a stranger walks up and you know we have a different reaction mm -hmm. to a stranger yeah, um, like the dog is seen, sees every day. I've taken, you know, I, t I take him everywhere I go. I mean, yes, basically. I don't want to you guys, but my witness really has to get back to work, so okay. can, he, can yeah. he be excused? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, be excused. <laughs> Two and a half hour lunch break. All right. okay. uh, can you give us some time? I mean, would you like to hear what the outcome is or anything like that? It doesn't really matter. She just asked me to come talk. I mean, okay. whether right. he keeps it or he doesn't, I'm fine. Okay. Oh, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll see each other, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Good. Good. I do know your mom. Huh? She's walking through the neighborhood when I walk my dogs. I do know your mom. Oh, yeah, when she walks her dog? No, I, I walk my dogs. No, because I know she walks hers yeah. in the neighborhood, too. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Can I bring my dog? <laughs> 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 yes, uh, I am too. Uh, thank you very much. All right. Thank you very much. And uh, Henry and my dogs, they used to running around together. And uh, they can get obnoxious sometimes. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> his dog was very, very, you know, torrent the whole thing. And the Henry, like, I, I, that's like I never thought he would get any kind of aggression out of him. I, you know, because I'm used to with the dog. Even, even with your you're two know, hanging off of it. Yeah, yeah because yeah. I used to uh, work on the uh, canine fitness center, so we had to deal with the dogs one by one place. And uh, I never sense any kind of, uh, you know, mm -hmm. uh, aggression from him. And sometimes dog can sense people's fear also. Mm -hmm. That's, you know, it's not the dogs, but the people trigger those things in the dogs. So, you know, that's my input. Okay. All right, good. Well, thank you. Let's, we appreciate that. We'll, we got anything make else? There, Go there is. One other thing, I, I'm gonna put the fence up. Um, <coughs> I, I mean, too bad you didn't put the fence up two years ago. <laughs> uh, believe me, don't you? Don't, yes, I know. Because um, I don't like this. I don't like the outcome of this. Mm -hmm. 
um, and what happened to Mr. Haywood or anybody else. Mm -hmm. um, the other part of this is that I am going to seek a professional behaviorist for him because I think this is part of a territorial issue and um, maybe some trauma he has had in the past. Um, well, you heard of you. There was a debate. The gentleman was testifying. Uh, yes, and we've got County. his number. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, you know, I. He'll be honest. I'll tr I try to be very responsible. I try mm -hmm. to look out for the other people. Um, I'll say this much. It sounds like a plan. Okay. You know, I'm not. Yes. Do I want to muzzle him? No. No. Yeah, I don't yeah. think that. One, especially he, he can't protect himself in case of other dogs coming up, and he's not going to be able to protect me if I'm walking at night. Um, you know, the fence, he'll always be on a leash. He'll be, he won't be on the retractable, but he's on a six foot leash. I don't like retractables unless he's, he's too big for retractable. Yeah, um, going off the back deck to do his business. Um, you'd never see me walking in with a retractable. Um, I, I don't know what else to say, to be honest with you. Um, I know she had something to say in the background. Did you want to say something? Yeah, it was. Yes. My yes. sister. Yes. Mm -hmm. She better say something nice. <laughs> oh, I'm sure she will. She wouldn't be here otherwise. <laughs> it's her birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. I mean, we, we, we don't have the cake. Uh, it didn't show up. Do you have a beer? <laughs> 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 Um, I've been a foster parent for 15 years, and um, I work with Recycled Love out of Baltimore. They, you know, they pull from parks and all the pit bulls, and I've had some of their bait dogs as foster dogs, who we've trained very well. Um, I do believe this was a random attack, and it was unprovoked, but I also know that Henry has played in that grassy knoll area, and I think this is a, a, a situation of him protecting his territory, and he did not know the boundary. I honestly believe that because I've seen it happen with some of my bait dogs and some of the other dogs that we've trained through barks and through recycled love. So, you know, Stephen, by putting up the fence, I think is doing the right thing. But, you know, yeah, like you said, we should have had it been a couple of years sooner. But, and unfortunately, this has happened. But again, I think it was a territorial thing. And, I, and for some reason, you know, Henry may have felt that this gentleman was going to threaten Stephen. Who knows? But I do believe it was territorial. This is never, he's never attacked anybody else. Well, we really appreciate your input, and we'll consider everything. Thank you. All right, thank you, guys. Thank you. We'll be back in a minute. All right, we've come to a unanimous decision. Um, we are modifying it in item number three to read if the animal is outside unattended, it must be secured within. Etc. Um, so you still have to meet those conditions, but you don't have to have that in order to bring your animal. Um, and we are also striking the muzzle requirement under number okay, four. Thank so, you. Um, okay. Any questions? No. So what was okay. the first thing you did? So the first one is number three. We're we're striking part of the the first part of number three to read. If the animal is on the outside unattended, it must be secured within. I think it's a temporary thing too. So until this fence is out. You had asked for a temporary solution to your fences. In. Yes, that was uh, if I could utilize the deck. The deck is about four feet high. We're not we're not giving you the option to use the fence, but rather not use the deck. But you're you're basically you're allowed to keep the dog inside, confined inside, and then take it out on a leash to walk it, okay. and then you bring it back inside until you get your fence. Okay, so great. Fence. Okay. So he can't be outside unattended. At all. Oh, correct. Okay. 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 Now, now, now I gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Pardon? And no muscle. And no muscle. No okay. We thank everyone for coming today. Thank you. And thank you. we are adjourned. Oh, that's going to be up to animal control. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to close tomorrow. Yeah. I was just telling them. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank you.